So I've had some people ask me how I make my twisted coils and what I use to make them um, the way that I do, and quite simply, uh, this is it. First thing is, I've got this uh, Jacobs Unlo Online Nichrome 80. I like working with Nichrome 80, it's pretty easy to work with. It's got a decent resistance. Uh, 400 feet is not very expensive. It's easy to twist, it's easy to work with. Um, heats well, just a decent wire. Two screwdrivers. Now you can use your screwdrivers both to install your coils onto your RDA, or you can use them to hand wrap. Uh, I personally can hand wrap, and I like hand wrapping, but I have this little coil master coiling jig here, which is pretty nifty. Uh, basically you stick one end of your wire into this hole, comes out here, and then these little doodads slide in over the post and help you to wrap. You have the various sizes of your um, different coils from 15 all the way up to 40. Tiny itty bitty screwdriver if you need it. Pliers and nippers and the drill. So basically I cut off what I need to make my length. And um, I like making three and four wire coils uh, twisted. I, can, I do two as well. Um, that's basically up to you. Uh, the idea is the more surface area and the more little pockets that you have for e-juice to get into, um, the more vapor and flavor you're going to get. So two wires, yeah, it's great. It's awesome. Uh, I like to do a fairly loose wrap, a loose twist on two, on three a medium tightness, and then on four I like to really twist that sucker down. Although I've done some four wrap, or four strand twisted, that uh, get pretty darn loose and they're, they can work really well. They're just really hard to get evenly heated. So that's that, that's basically it. Uh, these pliers, I really like these because they're bent. So I don't know, I just really like using them. They're fun to use. I like using the bent pliers here and then my end cutters to cut my ends. So I'm gonna get a strand twisted up and then I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm doing a four strand. And so what I've done is I've cut my wires to length done a little bit of a twist and then I put a little L shape in it. That L shape I find when I put it in the chuck helps it to grip and stay put. And I'll show you what that looks like. So you see that, that little bend goes up in between the jaws, everything comes out nice, grips onto it real well, and then the other side goes into my plate. And so a nice tight twist on four strands. Yeah, I got a couple kinks, a couple places where it's not perfect, but guess what? This is good enough for me, and it will heat just fine. We're gonna get it mounted and threaded up. I'm gonna see if I can do this on the camera. So, this coil master, what I really like about it is it's easy to work with. So you take one section, stick your tag in. You just stick your tag in just like that, and then you begin to wrap. And there's plenty of videos online of people doing this, so. I'm gonna get these all wrapped up. I'm going to be using my 40 mandrel to get a nice big opening for tons of cotton. And I'm gonna get that all set up. And so there's the result. Two beautiful coils, four wrap, or uh, four strand, about six wraps, six, seven wraps. This'll pull, uh, as a dual setup, this'll pull about 24 to 26 amps. Uh, so if you don't have a battery that can handle or has a ceiling of 30 amps, um, I personally on this will use the Samsung 18650, the 20S. But this is a, this is one of my good setups and uh, works real well for me, especially in my Kennedy 24 mil RDA. Uh, let's take it. So in the setup right now in my Kennedy, I have a very similar coil. It's a two strand tight twist uh, running the same amperage. Uh, same amp requirement, the same ohm requirements at about 0.12 to 1.4, somewhere in there. Tasty. Yeah, so pretty simple. Um... This is a loose twist here. Let me pop the cap off and I'll show you real quick. This is a loose twist. I'll show you what I mean by that. I've been chucking hard on this for two or three days now, so time to clean them coils. But I don't know if you can see, it kind of looks like barbed wire. 
The twists are very loose on this. The pitch is probably one or two millimeters, something like that. Um, just a very loose twist. I like the loose twist for two strand. It just works real well for me. Um, but the four strand with the same number of twists will work uh, very similarly. A little bit slower ramp up. So if you're using like a dual battery mech mod or a three battery mech mod and you, and you can run 0.12, 0.13 safely, um, four strand works really well on that. I like my four strand coils for my um, my Wolf uh, two battery mech mod box thing. Um, on this, it might be a little bit slow on the kick up, but it'll still work just fine. And then um, in any regulated, works beautifully.